I'm going to tie a Latorte hopper and I'm starting off with a size 12 uh, hopper hook in the vise and the thread that I'm going to use is a 6 uh, yellow. I'll get this started at about the two-thirds point in the hook shank and that's going to serve as a visual indication of where I want the body of this pattern to stop and the head and collar to begin. The body for this is going to be a dry fly dubbing and I'm going to use a real light olive to dub this body. And I'll put a slight taper in this. So I'll go down to the the barb and the hook and then back up to that thread point. So down to the barb and then back up <clears throat> and I'll continue to work out this taper And one more piece ought to do it. And now I can add in uh, my underwing, and for that I'm going to use um, a turkey feather. And what I've done with this, you can lacquer these, but I like to use a little uh, hairspray. Just spray it down, and that makes it nice and rigid, makes it real easy to work with. I'll trim off a portion of it. And when I spray these, I do try to leave the tips still somewhat pliable so that I can use that as my as my tie end point. So uh, I'll start by making a straight cut down to where the tip starts to stiffen and that'll be the bit that I tie in. Now to measure this out I'm going to flip it around so I'm holding the somewhat pliable part and I'll measure it out of the back and I maybe want to go half a hook shank in length and then I'll take my cut and now I can tie this in so um, <clears throat> one thing that I want to do before that is just put in a little curve to the end of this and I'll use a, a straight scissors but you can use a curved scissors too if you'd like And it doesn't take much to get that, that little curved shape. And then I'll set it on top of my pattern and tie it in. And I want to make sure that there's a little hanging off either side and make sure it's as centered as it can be. So you can see what it looks like from underneath. And now I can add in uh, my collar and my head. And for that I'm going to use a short fine deer hair for this. And I'll take a clump that's about the same as the same diameter as the gape and the hook there. And I'll remove it. And I want to make sure that I've cleaned out any of that under fur. And for the collar, I'm going to stack the tips <clears throat> and when I measure this out on top, I want it to be a little over the midway point of the hook shank, so I'll maybe take it down so the tips end uh, where the dubbing does. I'll switch hands. 
I'll take a cut here in front of my eye and I'm not going to spin the collar so I'll take two wraps and I'll pull straight down and I'll leave my hand on top <clears throat> as I work through those butt sections and then I'll push this all back and take a couple of turns underneath and then I have room for one more stack of deer hair. This time I'll repeat the process. I don't need to keep the the tips so I can remove those and I also don't need to to stack it but I do want to clean out all the under fur again so that it spins properly and so I'll hold this at an angle take two soft turns pull straight down and then I'll let it spin and I'll work my way towards the eye and when it stops moving it's in so I can pull this back compress it, take some turns behind the eye and whip finish Trim my thread, and now I can start to groom. If you want to use a razor blade, you can for some of these finer cuts. And before I <clears throat> take too much off, I'll, I'll let it alone. But that is a Latorte Hopper.